What's up guys? Just got back from uh, a couple Goodwills today and I figured I would just do a haul video live because it's easier. Um, <clears throat> I don't have to wait for it to upload and stuff. I can just do it live. If anyone watches and has questions, I can answer those. So uh, I didn't really have to thrift today. I had some stuff to list and I've been going through uh, my inventory I already have, but it was a nice day and I wanted to I, want, I just hadn't been thrifting in like three or four days, so I was having withdrawals. Um, I've been a little bit pickier because I'm, I'm trying to hold off and, and see how this wholesale goes, uh, but that's not going to be until later on next month, so like I said, I'm just, I was a bit pickier. Try to shop like tag sales and use coupons and stuff, so I did pick up a, a few pieces of clothing that I will show you before we get into the shoes. Um, nothing real crazy. I either got it because it was uh, one of the tag sales or just because it's like I know it's a quick seller. For example, like this men's uh, long sleeve Harley t-shirt. It'll probably be 15 or 20 bucks, but I know that it will sell quickly. So I like to pick up that those sort of things. On one hand, I want to build up my store, but on the other hand, it's it's always better to, to flip quick, in my opinion. <clears throat> this was a, a men's dry fit Nike. It's uh, it's it's definitely not vintage. You can tell it's got more of that polyester feel instead of the nylon. But this kind of slate gray and blue colorway, I think, looks cool. A lot of times, I just pick up stuff because I because I think it's cool. This was uh, actually six bucks, so a little more than I would normally pay for that, but still, that's that's a good price, and it'll go first class. <clears throat> uh, this was an interesting item that caught my eye, and instead of passing over, I decided to look it up. I don't know if I would really call this vintage streetwear, but it's uh, a vintage Buco Boy button up, and. I don't know, I just had a feeling. And so I, this was the only item that I looked up. I don't spend a whole lot of time looking up stuff, but this exact shirt was in like the $20 range. And uh, so I picked it up for a few bucks. And that was sold listings too, it was in that, that range. <clears throat> These next two shirts are a brand that I don't, they're not a huge brand. It's one of the newer, it's called Modern Amusement. It's one of the, Newer Pack Sun, well, Pack Sun sells it. I don't think it's a Pack Sun brand, and it's actually pricier if you walk into a Pack Sun. It's it'll be, it's not like the cheapest stuff that they have, and this is just a men's um Hawaiian shirt, and this is a hooded flannel. I pick up this stuff because I thought it was cool. I used to work at Pack Sun for a while when I was younger, and I always liked their stuff. But I never wanted to spend the money on it. I typically was the type of person to buy stuff from the clearance section to where to work because that's how I am. So when uh, I'll pick it up because it, it just has like a more of a slim cut to it. It has a decent fit and it's trendy. Um, you're not going to get rich, but it's like a good bread and butter item. This next is a, a Thor motocross jersey. And I've had good luck with anything that's like motocross or mountain biking, downhill biking, stuff like that. The equipment and the gear, the jerseys, the shorts, it's all very expensive. Like, I don't think my bike, my jerseys, my shorts, my shoes, no, my shoes I got a good deal on Amazon. But everything that I bought for my bike and my bike itself, I bought used. So I know that a lot of people do. I'm not sure what a jersey like this would cost new, but it, it could be in the 50 to $60 range. So um, I picked this up for a few bucks. I've, I mean, I've sold, I've sold them stained. I, don't, I typically wouldn't buy them ripped or with holes, but I've sold motocross jerseys before that had stains on them. And uh, I just picked this up because it was a Ralph Lauren golf Tilden button-up shirt. So... Now we can get into the shoes. I went to two Goodwills today. Um, and I think I spent about 130 on 20, I want to say it was like 25 items, I believe. 
Uh, this first pair of shoes is women's. It's kind of like a, it looks like a Chelsea boot, but it's low top. And this is the brand Aria, Aria. I'm not sure how to pronounce it, but uh, it's like an equestrian brand. It has to do with horses and cowboys and stuff like that. I've sold boots before. Uh, they've made it to the videos. So these were $3.99 good condition. I haven't looked up comps yet. I've sold similar shoes in like the 20 to $30 range. So we'll see how those go. Um, I picked up a lot of Clarks today and I don't just pick up a Clark Clarks just cause they're Clarks. I will, you know, if they're good condition or the style, you know, I, I'm a bit choosier than I used to be, but they sell, they sell constantly. So, I never pass them up. Now this first pair I paid $4.99, but they are a women's ankle boot. They got a buckle on one side and uh, a zip on the inside. So I know that this style will do well. And like I said, these were $4.99. I will probably price these between 30 and 35 off the top of my head. This pair is just a uh, women's loafer in really good condition but they do have like they have some hair on the inside and I hate that I'd like to say that I love animals but I'll tell you what I hate cleaning hair out of shoes I, I got to the point where I stopped even buying um like I pass on fleeces all the time because I don't want to try to clean them the next two pair are Clark's sandals these are Clark's artisan and they're just slides, leather with uh, like a floral, like a leather flower on there. Um, with as many Clarks as I buy and sell, I couldn't really tell you what the difference is or if there is a, like a level of what is considered expensive Clarks and cheap Clarks. All I know is that they all sell. Now, so these are the Clarks Artisan slides. These are just regular Clarks. And they are a closed toe sandal. I think uh, I think that you literally just call this strappy. <laughs> I don't think that these are gladiate considered gladiators. I think those go up higher on your ankles. But these were four dollars. <throat> I know I have more Clarks somewhere. These are Clarks collection black leather. They have the a suede insole. Really good condition because you can tell um, that it still has like the texture on the sole. There's no creasing. I'm not sure if these have even been worn. They actually still have the tag on the bottom, which is nice. I honestly, I mean, I don't know if I would sell these as new. There, you could probably get away with it if you if you wanted to take the chance, but I I probably won't. Um, I do like that they have the tag because you, there's the actual model name of the shoe, which if you're not familiar with certain shoes, it can be difficult because they don't all have numbers like Nike's do. You can't just search them. So, but I paid, I paid a little more for these. These were uh, $8 and I bought a few pairs of shoes today that were more expensive, which is not, I don't normally do that, but for whatever reason I did. Now this is, I think, the last pair, and these are Clark's collection also. Um, just like a penny loafer, boat shoe with a gum sole, clean, light, uh, there's a little bit of creasing, and the leather has kind of like this, I don't know if that's a snakeskin or fish scale like texture. Um, so this is, you know, good for this time of year. You can also see the sole, that these are really clean. These were six bucks. This is a uh, Weijin's bat. It's a Bass JH Bass brand, and they're suede with kind of like this mock fur. Cheetah, I think that's cheetah or jag. I don't know. I can't really tell. But these were six bucks half off, so I paid three. Super clean. Actually, have a, a really smooth. They're like really soft um 
leather sole, which kind of surprises me. I'm not, I don't think that I've ever seen bass shoes have like a legit leather sole, but these were interesting and they were $3. Um, I sell bass and uh, the Weegeons. I actually think that I've had better luck selling the Weegeons than just the regular bass. So this, I, I have no idea about this brand. It's uh, Capelli New York. They were $2 and they were brand like pretty much new. They, they still have stickers on the bottom. The, there's no wear on the sole at all. There's no creasing. They're just women's ballet flats, but they are kind of like a velour and they're really kind of ugly. But I was curious, and that's why I picked them up for $2. After, this is the only thing that I looked up before I started uh, the video. And it looked like comps were between 10 and 20. So nothing, nothing crazy. <clears throat> this was the only pair of Brooks that I got today, which is kind of surprising. If you watch the channel, you know that I like to sell a lot of Brooks. These are in just about perfect condition. They have very, very little wear. It's a good colorway. This is the GTS 15, the Brooks Adrenaline GTS 15. These would be worth quite a bit, I would say, except for they are on the smaller side. These are a, a women's six and a half. So they're not terribly small. I wouldn't really consider, I would, you could get by without selling them as youth shoes. Like I know a lot of women that wear a six and a half. Um, what did I pay for these? These were actually $8, but in a bigger size, I would be confident that I could get like 40 to $60 out of these. Being a little on the smaller side, I'll probably price them between 30 and 40 and see how they do. But uh, I guarantee that these would probably sell pretty quickly. All right, next up, actually, we'll go with these first. Um, I'm not sure which is uglier. I, I picked up a couple pairs of coach shoes today. And to be honest, <laughs> like this one, like I, I, I kind of like the monogram. And I kind of like this blue, but I don't know what the they, what they were trying to do with these together. Um, I really, these are the Coach Bobbies. If uh, Coach is actually one of those brands where if you look on the tongue, they have the, the name of the shoe. And I spent $5 on these. This is, uh, if you ever come across these, don't worry if the sole or any of this rubber is kind of grungy looking because you can use um, a magic eraser and like goo gone and that will clean up really well. I mean like really well. This other pair is, uh, it really is even worse. Um, these are Coach Susie's and they are a patent blue, like this kind of weird, cool, steely blue. And uh, I don't know if you'll be able to see, but it actually does have the monogram like imprint these were three dollars so i don't care how ugly they are for three dollars i'll always pick up coach shoes this next two pair are both dance goes i was surprised i actually found two pairs of dance goes today these are just regular black clogs um they were 4.99 they have a little bit of creasing and they have some scuffs up here uh, i think that i can clean that up I'm going to try with like leather polish and a magic eraser first and then depending on how it looks I actually have some Angelus paint that I might try on like a little piece and uh, like a little part and see what happens but if you, they'll sell as is so I'm not really worried about it. This is uh, another pair of dance goes. I've never seen, usually it's always clogs or mules. These are a little bit more like a loafer and they look like if you remember I had the those boots Technica boots they were Swiss and they were made of like pony hair or goat hair that's exactly um what these look like and feel like it's kind of gross but I will do some research first and see how these do I'll be interested because they're in very good condition you can see I actually only paid four dollars for these but there's uh no wear to the sole at all nowhere inside there's not like the fur isn't patchy it's super shiny that is such a it's a weird shoe but uh like i said four bucks dance goes 
We'll see what kind of hair that is and how well they do. Okay, next up we have some vintage Red Wings. These aren't a wing tip, but like they almost look kind of like a saddle shoe. Basic work shoe, Oxford. Um, these are made in the USA. It's a, a Red Wings Danone. I'm not sure what that is, but I have sold Red Wings shoes before. And they weren't in very good condition. And these ones are actually a lot better. They're, they look a little dusty or whatever. These will polish up really well. I paid $3.99. You can see they're, they've hardly been worn. There's like no wear to the sole at all. There's very light creasing. So uh, Red Wings, especially vintage Red Wings. Like I, I'm not sure what the comps will be, but I, I know that these will... I know that these are worth it, so that was a cool pickup. And then the last three pair are the pricier ones that I picked up today. Um, first up is Cole Haan Country, but these are the the ones with the Nike Air Sole. I did the Ben test. Tip when you find shoes like this, like Borns, um, some Merrells, anything that has a similar. Basically any shoe, but especially these ones, definitely give it like the bend test because I don't know how many pair of shoes that I picked up at the bins. Super excited, and then I get home to list them, and then it's like this entire thing is cracked in half and I didn't notice it. So give shoes a bend. If they're new and you don't want to crease them, just kind of, well, if they're new, you probably don't have to worry about it. But these were actually priced at $15. I would, I, normally I wouldn't pick up shoes from a thrift store for that much money, but I had a half off coupon. So this pair and the next pair were both 15. You average it out, I paid, you know, about 10 bucks a piece. And uh, this model I already looked up is in like the 35 to $40 range and Kohans usually don't sit very long for me. So it's not huge margins, but it's still um, 10 bucks to, you know, 35, 40, and I'm trying to raise, like I just want to get more higher end things in my store. So that was a cool pickup, but not as cool as these. I love when I find vintage Nike boots. Now, I guess these aren't technically vintage, but these are, I didn't realize how old these were because they're in such good condition. Like I said, these were 15 but I would have paid that anyways. The leather on these is just, you can tell it's a quality shoe. It's not like old Tim's where this is peeling and it's got like some weird coating. Um, and if you don't know about Nikes, for one, the, the size will be right here and that, that's the model number. And then um, down here under the barcode, I don't know if you'll be able to see that, is where the date is. So if you are ever looking up Nikes on eBay and it doesn't pop up, just take, just write Nike and Google that number. And then, like I've done that before, I can't find the same shoe on eBay, but then I'll search it on Google and I'll find it and then I'll learn the name of it and then I can find it on eBay. Or if that doesn't help, you can just type in like, Nike ACG boots 2002 and then you'll find them now boots I think the last pair that I picked up were youth and they were size five or six and I still sold them for around 30 so these will probably get priced pro like anywhere from 50 to 60 I want to say but uh, I think that these are super cool I had some before I'm not sure why I sold them but I like Nike boots and uh, dude, those have aged well. So, and the last pair, <clears throat> I, this, this was at the, the last thrift store that I was at. And I, I don't know, for whatever reason, they kind of color coat the shoes there, at least the women's. And uh, towards the end is the black shoes. And a lot of them just seem to be kind of trashy, like not great shoes. So I was almost gonna just skip it and I went and looked and as I was kind of turning to walk away, I looked at the bottom shelf and I saw suede boots and I was like, well, who knows, what if? And I flipped them around 
and I saw that they were Uggs. And not only were they Uggs, they are pretty much unused Uggs. Like, I legit could sell these as new without box and like not even feel bad about it. Um, and the craziest thing is that they were only $6.99. So I've sold a lot of beat up Uggs that I picked up at like the bins and stuff. I've never sold new ones. I'm curious to see how these do, especially being the time of year that they are. But uh, for $6.99, that's, that's a good buy in my book. So that's what I got today. Those are the shoes I picked up. Um, other than that, if you guys haven't checked out eBay MBA or just a mastermind of any, of any sort yet, you have to. It's been like a game changer. It's cool to connect with people that are like-minded, that do the same stuff as you, but it's also been super beneficial for my business. It's been going on for what, like a month now, and my 30, 31 day number is up like 2,000, and uh, I learn something every week. So definitely check that out. But thanks for watching. Um, if you like the video, like it, comment, subscribe. Um, let me know, I'll keep making content like this, and I will talk to you guys soon. Peace.